Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you Tidal product review app tutorial for beginners. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. In this case, the first thing you need to do here is you need to go to Shopify.com, log in into your account, and open up your shop or your website here. Now, for us to start using Tidal, we need to basically install it first. At the bottom left, go ahead and click on settings. And from here, you want to go to the section for apps and sales channel and click on Shopify App Store at the top right. Now from here, go to the search section, just type in the following, which is going to be Tidal, press on enter. Now from here, you should be able to see different apps. So choose Tidal product reviews app. Let's go ahead and click on it. Let's go ahead and click on install. And it's going to ask you if you really want to actually install the app. Now in this case, go ahead and click on the install button once it actually appears again. And from here, we just need to finally set up a title here. So in this case, what we need to do is we just need to follow the on-screen steps that you'll be seeing on your screen here. So in this case, this is the title reviews page here. So in this case, it's going to say all the most effective views on app Shopify. Let's go ahead and click on let's do this. And from here, we need to basically customize our title reviews. That includes the brand color, secondary color, buttons here, text color, and the star color as well. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, you should have the option to automate email reviews requests if you want to. Like for example, specifying the days after the order for fulfillment or actually requesting the uh, review. Now in this case, you go and click on continue once you've entered the amount of days. From here, you need to launch with essentials. So in this case, uh, launch now with essentials, continue customizing inside the app. So going to click on launch and continue. Now from here, there are a few things that you could do here. Like for example, title reviews would continue, contain the general information about your account, like total sales, review requests sent, reviews collected, average rating, and product reviews as well. You have the reviews tab here under title reviews, which includes all the reviews that you have right now, maybe publish or unpublish. Now, in this case, you can select one of the unpublished uh, reviews here and publish them into your shop if you want to. Request queue here would contain the uh, request the queues or the, for example, the customers are prompt to email by email and leave a review periodically after the order is fulfilled. So meaning this is the email sent out requesting a review. Now, if you view emails here, so this will contain your email requests if you want to turn that on, even review request follow up if you want to review discount or review reply. Now, these are going to be like the, a specific uh, mailer for your account. Now, on site would contain some information or settings regarding your product page. So, that includes the widget status here if you want to turn that on. So, like the uh, so like rating here. And why not if you want to change those? You have these settings here if you want to as well. So in this case, you can change your general settings here. Review moderation, review request timings, discounts, email notifications, import reviews, Google Shopping, and troubleshooting. Now in this case, if you want to also review their document, you can go and click on check out our docs here. And you should be able to see the document here and read further regarding title reviews. Now in this case, what you need to do next is you just need to turn on the title app widget. In this case, go to the online store under sales channel here, and you want to go to teams, click on customize next to your team. And from here, you want to go to app widgets at the left panel here, or app embeds. Now from here, make sure title reviews is turned on. Go ahead and click on enable. Click right here, go ahead and click on save at the top right. In this case, once we actually exit this one and try previewing our website, we should now be able to view a few things here, like for example, reviews and the option to add reviews. So for example, we have this product here. Let's go ahead and click on it. So whenever you scroll down over here, you now have the review section here. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.